here you can see the... Uh, Aha! Uh, <laughs> it's starting to be a bit of a giveaway, isn't it? Okay, <laughs> signs, yes indeed. The, um, the droppings everywhere. And through the trees, the first grey heron flew in. Peter, there's one there. There's London in the watch, tree. Watch now, DC. It's enormous. Yeah, it's but, much but they are one bigger. Person, aren't they? And the nest yeah. looks really small in comparison. It is. They're a very lazy builder. They'll throw half a dozen sticks together and some soft nest material on that and nest on it. Okay. Is, is that the male or the female up well, there now? As you can see, can you see the nice pink bill? I know, it's yeah. really, really bright pink. Oh. I've never seen that before. That's, that's the female. The rule of thumb for telling the difference between the male and female, and it only applies now during the mating season, is lipstick, powder and comb. Now the lipstick, as you can see, is the, is the bright coloured bill. Normally the bill is yellow. Right. But as you can see, it, it, it's a bright pink. Yes, yeah, she has got a gorgeous, a bright pink. pink bill. And uh, the feathers on the front of, of the body is r what we call a ruff. And they use that to clean fish scales off their bill and off their feet. When she's nesting, nursing the egg, she doesn't need that. She, she needs a soft powdered down. So that ruff disappears and, 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 and becomes fine feathers. And that's your powder. And the comb, of course, is the, uh, an extra claw she grows in her foot. And she's able to keep that, that uh, powder in order with, with, with the claw. And that's, so that's your lipstick, lipstick powder, powder and, and comb. comb. Rule of thumb. I mean, there's loads and loads of activity going yeah. on. I mean, they're really fidgety, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, they're, I mean, they're preening, preening yes, and yes. digging under their well, <laughs> wing pits, well, I suppose you'd call it. Keeping the feathers clean and keeping themselves clean. But, I mean, they have to keep their feathers in order. They're depending on those, not only for their own comfort, but for the comfort of their chicks whenever the chicks are hatched. I'm afraid the chick is, is uh, only a mother could love it because it's, it's really is an ugly looking thing, I think. Sure, look at the bird that... And it, and it turns into know, such a gorgeous beautiful, bird. Absolutely superb, isn't it? 